Anthropic just dropped one of the most beautiful AI research papers of the year. It's called On the Biology of a Large Language Model. But what is it really about? And biology of an LLM? Let's break it down for you. At a high level, this paper is trying to open up the black box of large language models. And here's one way to understand what they have found. As Paras Chopra from Los Fung put it best, and we are quoting him, neural networks are voting networks. Every part of a large language model is like a mini agent. Some features vote loudly, some barely whisper. And all their votes get aggregated. And the final output token is the result of this massive pyramid of micro decisions. Anthropic built a tool to trace these exact votes. And what did they find inside Claude's brain? Wild. What did they discover? Parallel thoughts. So Claude doesn't think in a straight line. When asked a question, multiple circuits light up. Some are competing, some cooperating. In one jailbreak case, they saw Claude trying to say yes first and later refused the harmful prompt. Whichever circuit wins the vote, that's the answer that we get. In a poetry task, Claude saw a word it needed to rhyme with. Before even writing the next line, it was already lighting up internal rabbit and habit circuits, trying to rhyme them. It wasn't just predicting the next word, it was planning a rhyme. In a reasoning task, Claude decided the final answer first, then reverse engineered a fake chain of thought to justify it. That's not just prediction, that's backward chaining, things that we have done in our accounts exams. This trait often linked to intent or planning. Claude might even know what it knows. Some circuits seem to represent self-awareness. I know this answer. I don't know this entity. And toggling them can change whether the model hallucinates or declines to answer. But it's yet not perfect. There are, say, limitations. Long prompts, too chaotic. Unusual phrases, full of error nodes. Complex outputs, the graphs become mind-meltingly large. Even the best researchers take hours to decode a single attribution map. And the circuit tracing method can't fully explain attention, or inactive features for that matter, or global circuits. So why does this matter? Because for the first time ever, we are not just watching what AI says, we are seeing how it thinks. Anthropic's method lets us. We can trace how Claude refuses harmful prompts. We can catch hallucinations before they even happen. We can understand how a generalization actually emerges. And maybe, just maybe, someday, audit for hidden goals or deceptive reasoning. The kind of risks we worry about with advanced AI, with Gen AI. So in the midst of all of this, what's the key takeaway? What's the final take? Anthropic isn't just explaining outputs. They are building a microscope to study AI cognition. It's not perfect, but it's beautiful. And it's one of the boldest steps yet toward truly understanding what's going on inside. So the next time Claude writes you a poem, uh, answers a math question, or refuses to help with something shady, just know one thing. There's a whole internal parliament of uh, micro-agents uh, voting, debating, deciding what happens next. And Anthropic just showed us the floor plan. Fascinating, isn't it? Let us know what you think about it in the comments below. Was this voting network metaphor helpful? What would you want to trace inside Claude's brain? Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to share this video with a fellow AI and tech enthusiast. And of course, subscribe to AIM TV because we bring for you all the real-time live updates from the world of tech, from the world of AI. And of course, deep dive that you will barely get anywhere else. Because think AI, think AIM.